In an art class, the teacher found that there was dust on the model's thigh, so he asked the student to clean it up immediately. If a student was found to have drawn incorrectly, he would scold them on the spot. When checking the student's work, if there are any unsatisfactory ones, they will be expelled immediately. But a boy directly handed in a blank sheet, and he was the famous genius Leonardo da Vinci in the future. In the eyes of the naturally perfectionist Leonardo da Vinci, he could not see that the model resembled the Lady Liberty at all, because the calluses on her hands and the injured arm are enough to prove that she is just an ordinary girl forced by life, so he couldn't draw as the teacher requested. Afterwards, Leonardo da Vinci found the model Anna in private and wanted to draw a new portrait for her, but when Anna posed again as in class, she was directly rejected by Leonardo da Vinci, because he just wanted to draw the true side of the girl. But he still wasn't satisfied with only the black and white sketches. So he sneaked into the teacher's studio at night, stole the paint that only the teacher had, and then found Anna again to color her sketch. But when Leonardo da Vinci returned to the academy, he found that the teacher was frowning drinking in silence. So he kindly went up to ask, but the teacher felt that he was overreaching because he received a commission from a church to install an 18-ton cross on the top of the church. This was an impossible task in the 15th century. No matter how the teacher designed the construction equipment, the ball can only be raised by the boom. But the scaffold could not withstand the pressure from the rotation. If the bracket rotates, it will cause the whole building. After the teacher finished speaking, he looked helpless, but Leonardo da Vinci next to him was attracted by this difficult problem. At night, Leonardo da Vinci lay in bed for a long time and could not fall asleep. He kept thinking about how to solve the design problem in his mind, just as he blew out the candle and saw the rising smoke. Leonardo da Vinci was suddenly inspired in his mind. If the heavy object itself has no weight, then the bracket on the church can withstand the pressure. So he slipped into the teacher's studio immediately and started to redesign the construction machinery diagram. When the teacher woke up the next day, he saw the redesigned drawing and couldn't help but exclaim, This can't be. So many bullies reducing the weight. This design problem that has plagued him for several days and nights was solved so easily. On the day of construction, people from the whole city came to visit. Everyone is looking forward to seeing the masterpieces of the cross century. And this is the brand new tower crane designed by Leonardo da Vinci. He used a large number of gears to reduce weight. The heavy object that originally required hundreds of strong men to pull, now only three people can lift it easily. When the sphere slowly reached the top of the tower crane, everyone's heart was on the tip of their tongues. Even the teacher was too nervous to look up, because the original swing arm was designed by Leonardo da Vinci into a pulley, which was an unprecedented project at that time. Finally, the sphere was successfully placed on the church through the slide, and the people below began to cheer and jump for joy. But the teacher still couldn't smile, and even went back and fired Leonardo da Vinci. Looking at the pile of stolen paints in front of him, the teacher also expected Leonardo da Vinci to explain. But Leonardo da Vinci only said one sentence. I wanted to paint something that was perfect. But after the teacher heard it, he insisted on firing him.